Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Essentials. And this is the Essentials and Beyond for Chapter 1. For item number one of this exercise, we're to uh, look for certain commands within the Civil 3D user interface. So I'm just going to work down through each one of those. Letter A is the Match Properties command. And you'll actually find that command right here on the Home tab of the ribbon. You can see by the tooltip there that that is the match properties command. Import survey data is actually uh, can be found in two places that I can think of. It's right here on the home tab and it's also on the insert tab. The add labels command is on the annotate tab. You can see it right here. The inquiry tool is on the analyze tab of the ribbon. Elevation Editor can be found on the Modify tab. The Tool Space can of course be found on the Home tab. And finally, the Points from File command which can be found on the Insert tab. So hopefully in searching for those different commands you are able to become more accustomed to and more oriented with the Civil 3D user interface. For the second part of this exercise, we're going to practice becoming more fluent with the Civil 3D interface by opening a drawing called User Interface 2 and using certain parts of the, uh, the, the Civil 3D user interface. So we'll start off with item A, which is the application menu, and we actually need to use that to open the file. So I'll open the application menu, click the Open command, and then go to the Chapter 1 folder where I find User Interface 2.dwg. So right there, right off the bat, we're using the, the uh, application menu. But as you've learned earlier in the chapter, there's lots of different things you can do with the application menu. You can save drawings, you can publish and print, you can access drawing utilities, um, lots and lots of different things you can do from that menu. The next item we're asked to use is the command line. So we can use the command line to launch lots of different commands, like the line command. And as I draw a line, I can see that the command line is also reporting information back to me and even giving me options. And I can even click on those options in this release. It's a new AutoCAD feature with the ability to click on command line options rather than having to type a certain letter from the option. So that's a nice enhancement. Next, we're asked to use the ribbon, so lots of different things we can do with a ribbon. For example, I can create a new alignment using the uh, Alignment Creation Tools command. So that gives me access to one of many commands through the ribbon. Next is Prospector. So since I've created an alignment in the drawing, that's a Civil 3D object. I should be able to browse that object in Prospector. And as you can see, there's the brand new alignment that I just created called Alignment 4, and it's listed here in Prospector. There were also other alignments in the drawing, Main Road A, Side Road A, etc., which are also listed there as design objects in my drawing. Transparent commands, um, we can use one of those to, uh, to draw lines or whatever construction we want using the kinds of methods that civil engineers and surveyors use. So, for example, I'm going to draw a line just using the line command. I'll launch it from the command line like we did a minute ago. I'll pick a starting point and then I'm going to go over here to my transparent commands and use instead of angle distance, or we used bearing and distance last time, I'll use angle distance this time. So, it's asking me for an ending point. I'm going to pick a point there and now it wants me to express the angle and distance from that point. So I'm going to go 45 degrees for a distance of 500. And there's my line by angle and distance. So there I've successfully used a transparent command. And then finally we're asked to use the inquiry tool in Civil 3D. So I'm going to switch over to the Analyze tab, click the Inquiry tool, and I'm going to do an alignment inquiry. So I want to find the station and offset at a point. So I'll choose my new alignment that I just made a few minutes ago and I'll pick a point 
and it's going to tell me the station and offset of that point. So that's a simple form of inquiry that we can do for an alignment and as we learned earlier lots of different types of inquiries that we can do in our Civil 3D drawing. So that's the Essentials and Beyond for Chapter 1.